Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about BAS cell scripting. Well, let's start with what is BAS. So BAS is simply a command language interpreter. So all the basic command lines that we learned, those are interpreted by the BAS cell and then it gives us the desired output. And when we talk about script or BAS script, then it's just a combination or collection of the series of commands. So simply put, BAS script is a plain text file which contains a series of commands. And that is simply the beauty of BAS scripts because in the BAS scripts, we can type series of multiple commands and run all of them at once without having to execute them individually. And the BAS scripts really comes in handy when we have to deal with the repetitive tasks. So if there is some task that we have to do repeatedly and which contains multiple commands, then we can simply write all of those commands in a bash script and we can run all of those commands at once whenever we want. So enough of me talking. Now let's see the practical example. All right, so let's first create a file. I'm going to use touch and let's say example.sh let's press the enter all right so we just created the example.sh file if you type file example.sh then it says empty because of course it's it's a empty file well let's type something in the example.sh let's say hello guys welcome to tech vitals and let's save it now if we check the file example.sh now it says it contains ASCII text so this example.sh is a normal text file it's, it's not a script file yet and to make it a script file or to make it a bash script file what we have to do is go to that file again and at the beginning we have to type has exclamation mark it is called sabang so has an exclamation collectively is called sabang then slash then we have to give the path of our bash that is user slash bin slash bash so this user slash bin slash bash is the path of our bash command or a bash interpreter so now let's try to save it and let's again check the file example.sh and now you can see born again cell script so now it's a script file before we added that sabang and the path of the bash it was just a normal text file but now it's a bash script file and if you're wondering where did i get the path of that bash interpreter then we can just simply type which bass and press the enter so this is the path or the location of that bass interpreter and we can do the same thing to create script files of any other language so for example uh, right now we created the bass script file but let's say if you want to create the python script file first we have to get the path of our python language so which python 3 because we are using the python version 3 okay so the path of python 3 is slash user slash bin slash python 3 so to create a python script file let's create python.sh file go to insert and just like we did in the bas script file we have to type sabang slash user slash bin slash python 3 and this line tells the file that it's a python script file and now we can just type the python code so let's write some python code a very basic python code let's say a equals 3 b equals 5 and let's say sum equals a plus b so we are just uh, adding those two numbers 3 and 5 and let's print 
that sum let's say uh, 3 plus 5 equals and then we have to print the sum and since sum is an integer value we can uh, convert it into a string okay so this is a very basic python code uh, we assigned a value of 3 in a then we assigned a value of 5 in b then we created a variable named sum and then we gave it a value of addition of these two variables a and b and then finally we print 3 plus 5 equals and then the sum variable which will give us the value of 8 let's uh, save it and let's try to run that python script file so to run that python script file we have to type python 3 and then the name of that file that is python.sh and it should print that uh, last line which was 3 plus 5 equals 8 so let's see there we go so like this we can create the script for any language we just have to get the path of that language and then we can use the bang slash the path of that language and then we can just create the script file for that uh, programming language but now we are focused on bash shell script so let's get rid of this python script file rm and i'm gonna remove this file okay so we have this example.sh and now let's try to write some bash commands let's go to that example.sh file okay so if we type echo hello world and save it now to run this bash script file we have to type bash and then the name of the file and then it printed hello world but as I said the beauty of the bash script file is that we can run the multiple lines of commands or the series of commands so let's get back to that example.sh file and let's run some more commands so let's say we print the date and then again we print something else like hello universe you know? and then uh, we can just create another file named touch uh, example 2.sh and we can again say new file created okay so here uh, we have five commands we have three echo one date and one touch command so let's save it and now let's try to run it bash example.sh all right so at first it printed hello world then it printed date then it again printed hello universe and then it said new file created so uh, in that script file we created example 2.sh so if we check the list then yes we do have this example 2.sh so as you can see by just writing a single piece of code or single piece of command here we actually run five lines of commands which is really helpful and which can save us a ton of time if we have hundreds or thousands of lines of commands okay so now let's see one more example let's create another file named test.sh or we can simply say test now let's try to write some code so sabang so slash user slash bin slash bass okay so at first let's create a directory in our root directory inside desktop and let's give it a name of magic then we will change our directory in that magic directory and then we will create a file named file 1 to 100 
So this command will create a uh, hundred files named from file one to file hundred and then we'll see the list of that magic directory and redirect it in a file called magic.log okay in the second line I have a small typo desktop okay so what we are doing here is in the first line we are creating a directory named magic inside desktop folder then in the second line we are going in that directory we are changing the directory into that magic folder or magic directory then inside that magic directory we are creating hundred files named from file 1 to file 100 and finally we are displaying the list of this uh, magic directory which will simply show us the list of those hundred files and then we will redirect it or we will just copy all that details all that list items into a file named magic.log which will be created uh, in the desktop directory okay so let's try to run it so bass test okay now our first command was to make a directory named magic inside the desktop directory of this uh, root directory and here we have desktop directory if we go to the desktop then inside this desktop directory we should have that magic directory so let's check the list yes we do have this magic directory and in the second line uh, we created hundred files inside this magic directory so let's go to the magic and let's see the list and as you can see we have hundred files here but it's a bit hard to look at it because it's not in a proper order I guess let's try ls hyphen t okay never mind uh, but we can see we have file one two three four five six seven up to file hundred so yes indeed we created the hundred files and in the final line we displayed all the list of this magic directory so it was ls hyphen lh so it will display the details of all these uh, 100 files and we redirected these uh, list items into a file named magic.log which we created inside the desktop directory so if we go back uh, one step then in, in our desktop directory we have this magic.log and inside this magic.log we should have all this list information so if we check cat magic.log then as you can see we do have all this list information of those hundred files so the major point here is that using just one single command we ran multiple commands you know we created a directory then we created hundred files in that directory and then we also created a log file and copied all the list information of that directory so you know this is a really powerful stuff here if we had to do it individually then it would have taken a lot more time because you know at first we have to make the directory and then we have to change the directory in that particular folder and then we have to uh, create hundred files and then again create another log file and copy all the log information or the list information you know but since we created a script file we can just execute that script file and it will do all of it by itself which is really really helpful and the last thing that I want to show you is that uh, we created that script file in a script directory so to run that script file we have to go to that particular directory so we have to go in our uh, script directory let's clear the screen and there is our test script file that we used to create those directories and files and to run this script file we have to be in this particular directory and then we have to type bash test but it's a bit hectic you know 
because we want to be able to run this script file from anywhere we want and we can do that so what we have to do is first we will go to our home directory and in our home directory we will make a new directory named bin okay now let's go inside bin and now we will move that script file inside this bin directory so we'll type mv then we'll move that uh, test script file inside this bin directory so now we have this test bash script inside our bin directory now we will give this file the execute permission so that we can execute this file so we can type ch mod plus x x is for execute and then test okay now if we check the detail then you can see we have this uh, read write execute permission on this test script file okay now let's go to our home directory inside our home directory we have a file named dot bash rc so we'll open that bash rc file and we'll go at the bottom of this file and we'll type path equals dollar path colon dollar home slash bin so here we added the path of that bin directory which is inside our home directory in our uh, path so that we can execute the test bass script file which is located inside our bin directory now let's uh, save it now we will need to restart our terminal so I'm gonna close this session and then run it again we can switch our user to John let's go to our home directory and uh, okay so now let's go to our desktop directory so here we have these two magic directory and magic.log so now let's remove uh, both of these files and directory okay so now the desktop is clear we just removed these two files and directory and now since we have moved our test script file inside the bin directory now we can execute that test script file from anywhere we want so we can just execute that uh, file within this desktop directory so we can just type bash test and press the enter and now it should create these two magic and magic.log file again so let's check list and yes it did create this uh, magic directory and magic.log if we go to the magic directory then we have this hundred files and if we check the magic log then we have all this list information stored in this uh, log file so that's the benefit and power of the bash script file uh, we can run multiple lines of commands in just one line so that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning Goodbye.